Hello everyone, this is your host, John Smith, coming at you with another episode of the Vape Review Podcast. Today I'll be giving you my take on the big showdown between Relics and Juul, the two top pod vape brands in the game right now. Now I know what you're thinking. Does the world really need another person yapping on about vapes? Well, hold on to your butts, folks, because I'm going to try to keep this review amusing while still breaking down what really separates these two industry titans. First up is pricing. No surprises here, but Relex comes out way ahead. Their starter kit is nearly half the price of Jules, and they even throw in free shipping. As a broke pot enthusiast, I can't say no to saving some dough, but Jewel charges an arm and a leg just to vape, so they lose major cool points from me. Next is flavors. Now, Jewel, I know tobacco is your thing, but come on, man. Time to expand that flavor roster beyond just ashtray juice. Meanwhile, Relix is serving up a flavor buffet with options like blueberry, watermelon, and more. And thanks to their special Pods Pro line, you can ramp up that flavor intensity whenever you want. As far as I'm concerned, this one's not even a contest. The Pods themselves are another slam dunk for Relix. Holding almost three times the liquid as a Jewel Pod is nice, but Relix also seems to have the Pod engineering down cold. Far fewer issues with leaks or getting gunked up, music to this Pod junkie's ears. Overall, the Relix just smokes the competition, pun fully intended. From the buttery smooth hits to killer battery life that blows Jewel's pitiful runtime out of the water, it delivers the total package. Style, features, performance, Relix has them all beaten. Now I know a lot of you loyalists will say Jewel was here first, so they deserve respect. And yeah, they led the pack for years, no doubt. But times change and better products emerge. Relix represents the future. So my advice, quit clinging to the past and upgrade to Relix like the rest of us hip kids. You won't regret it, I promise. Well folks, I think I've rambled on long enough. Thanks as always for tuning in to get my two cents on the latest and greatest in the vaping world. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next review. This is John Smith signing off. Until next time, vape on.